Next, we will enter an isolation cell, which is where prisoners are sent when they commit an infraction. The only light entrance oh. is a hole in the ceiling. Oh. How many people did you kill? I do not remember. How many were there? We have committed different crimes at different times. When a nigga say, I don't remember. Yeah, man. Maybe he needs to be in there with one light, one little hole. Because what? He said that so casually, too. Like, I yeah, don't I don't remember. remember. What's going on, Clitch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dup. It's your boy Ross. And we in the clutch, baby. Hey! Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, with another video today. You feel me? All right, today we're going to be checking out life as a prisoner in world's most strict jail, El Salvador Secot. I didn't say that right, bro. Yeah, well, I, I look, I'm not trying to go there anytime soon, so we're going to check this out. Should be, should be uh, very come. interesting, you know what I'm saying? Hey, they always say, if you're not willing to do the time, don't do the crime. So uh, we're going to check this out. Should be a very interesting one. And to keep us away from jail. I think this is what this video is for, to keep us away. So it's jail. it's it's the most strict prison. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, okay. All right, let's get into this one, man. Next, we will enter an isolation cell, which is where prisoners are sent when they commit an infraction. The only light entrance oh. is a hole in the ceiling. Oh. How many people did you kill? I do not remember. How many were there? We have committed different crimes at different times. When a nigga say, I don't remember. Yeah, man. Maybe he needs to be in there with one light, one little hole. Because what? He said that so casually, too. Like, I yeah, don't I don't remember. remember. Yeah. I don't remember. Taking one life is just insane. But to Taking... the point to where you don't remember? This nigga the Grim Reaper over here. What the hell? So you feeling bad for that the little hole or you? No, no, no more. Hey, man, leave him in there, bro. Leave him. Unless he's repented. But even then, I don't know, bro. It's just that's, you know. You, who are we, we, we to try... judge? Yeah, who are we to judge? But he in there for a reason. Absolutely everything is done in here from going to the box. Hold on. Hey, I just want to say I don't know none of these people in this jail. I don't I'm I'm not affiliated with any cartels. I'm not trying to disrespect any cartels. It's all love. We just here to watch it. And that's it. Putting that disclaimer out there, please. I don't want nobody thinking, oh, he's disrespecting us. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Ross put an ad out. <laughs> no, hell no. Oh, that was no. a plead ad. No, nah, bro. I'm mm -mm, nope. 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 We just reacted to a video, man. This is just something that somebody suggested, and <laughs> this, this dude ain't hey, right. Somebody said, "Good save, saving face." Bathroom to cleaning up. Or I was trying to make sure. Here open. This group behind me alone is very possibly responsible, directly or indirectly, for more than two hundred homicides. Oh. Why was it the audio off? Maybe he said something that we weren't supposed to hear. Oh, they may be, uh, they, they could be. <laughs> we are in El Salvador and today we will enter. Oh, the I think it's because he's speaking. He, they're translating it. The audio. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're translating the audio. Okay. Terrorism confinement center, the largest prison in the Americas with a capacity to house about 40 zero prisoners, of which today a significant percentage are dangerous. God damn! 40,000, bro? members and criminal leaders considered terrorists. This is a maximum security prison, and this is evident from the moment you are perhaps a kilometer from its perimeter, because there are already security elements that begin Ooh. to interrogate you. They get out of your vehicle, they do a body search, they check your identification. Who are you? What are you doing here? They tell me that there are seven security filters. Damn. Those that are imposed, which makes it practically an impossible mission for anyone to enter or leave without full authorization. In this video, we will know a little of Damn. how life is here inside. What are some methods and punishments that are imposed to control today's inmates? What are some of the rules that the country has imposed to control the situation with its criminals? Come, the Lord is waiting for us. Let's give him... What? <laughs> That's funny, bro. How they translated it. Yeah. Okay. Of course, they take all your belongings, phone, wallets, nothing. You can get in. It is even very interesting that the prison is built with a technology that does not allow a telephone signal so that nothing really communicates from inside here. Wow. They also pass you to one floor where they search you, they take off your shoes, this they even check the thickness of your socks. 
It is not for nothing that it is defined as a maximum security prison. When a person deprived of his freedom, that is a prisoner, enters here, his whole body is searched with a technology that allows us to literally see if there is anything inside his body, data wow. capture is taken, and he proceeds to go to the module assigned to him. Oh, by the way, we are able to enter to document with special press permits, but we do not really admit any type of visit. People deprived of their liberty in these types of prisons, specially designated for terrorists, are not entitled to any visits. Damn. Damn. Nothing about, I want to see my mom, I want to see my wife, my daughter, nothing. You lost that right because of the decisions you made in the armory. You have guns, of course, to control in the event of a riot or similar situation. To date, there has not been one. I bet. Yeah, them fools don't look like they trying to graze look, a, These are the hurt. hand and foot cuffs that are placed on prisoners who have to leave their cells, whether for food, exercise, medical care, etc. You don't leave without a pair of these. This is a surprisingly light but sturdy bulletproof vest. We are already inside one of I'm the modules. Y'all seeing like the the desync of the audio is? Am I tripping? I think it, because they translating. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure. I get I get what he's saying. That has thirty two <laughs> cells, of which each one has a capacity to receive about one hundred people deprived of their freedom. Whoa. Although these numbers may vary, it is very shocking to see it up close. Criminals sleep in a four-tier bunk system without any kind of mattress, and once people enter here, they will not leave no. until they finish their sentences. No mattress? Bro, Dang, that's niggas, some inhumane stuff there. These niggas is sleeping in fucking cabinets and shelves, bro. They're basically sleeping on shelves. And you stay and in there until you, your damn, sentence is over. bro. Hey, once again, y'all, don't, man, try to stay out of trouble as much as you possibly can. Well, don't go here, bro. Well, I mean, shit, it depends on your crime. If they if they consider you a terrorist, oh, nah, they don't give a fuck. Oh, that's GG's, bro. You sleep on that cabinet, my nigga. Enjoy your oh, 40 man. years on a cabinet. That's wild. Yeah, that's... We're talking about criminals here with sentences ranging from 20 years to over a thousand years. <laughs> Literally, there are beings who did crimes such that they were given sentences of more than a thousand years. What could you do? Uh, bro, they add, if it's anything terroristic, bro, they just gonna add on, add on, add on, add on, add on. I thought, bro, you might as well give me, give somebody the death penalty. Yeah, you might as well. But uh, it, it's just, it's just something about, ah, yeah, 999 uh, years left. Oh man, I'm gonna make it, bro. To forever be sleeping on the little steel. Ooh, that's, that's cold, bro. Hence the saying that when you enter the sector, you do not leave until you finish your sentence because everything, absolutely everything, is done in here. From going to the bathroom to washing up, everything is done here open. Another Damn. shocking fact oh, is snap. that the lights are never turned off here, not even to sleep, which makes you completely lose track of time. Oh. There are no clocks, so you don't know what time it is. It depends entirely on the schedules. Bro, I'm about to go crazy just watching this. Custodians when they enter, everyone has to be abducted. We can also see that everyone has the same uniform, and there are collective pots which they use to shower, to bathe, to do. What the hell? We can also see that here there is a person from the medical team who comes every morning to leave pills for people who have some condition. Well, who so they know it's in the morning. Some then. discomfort, even their hearings, in case their sentences have to be extended, are done from here inside. I want you oh, to pay attention dog. to this. We are in the module. Yeah. Dog, the sentencing has to be done from them being in the jails. What? That's crazy, bro. Oh, so they take that. You not leaving behind these bars, literal. Literally, yeah, nah, you, nah. Like, hey, you over there in that back shelf, come here. Right. Hey, man, we're going to sentence you to about a good 500 years. With good behavior, you can get out in 450 years, all right? That is crazy. So take these pills, drink your little water, and you can go back to that top bunk over there, all right? Oh, my God. Hey, man. 
No crime for me. Here are the cells, and right here is the so fourth of face Kids face should be watching this. Yeah. It's, this is in case you any of the prisoners have been accused of new crimes you, for which they have not been tried, that this may extend their sentences. So from Juan Perez, come here. They found you a new crime. They are accusing you of something else because they are informing you of all this. And then in this other room here, they do the confrontation. They do the recognition of identity. Bro, you don't leave. Then they form different prisoners. They give them a number on this side. Okay, here, this is a glass that can be seen perfectly from there. From here to there, it is like a mirror. So the person who is crossing here can identify the aggressors, the accused, and without having set foot outside oh, the wow. module, this person is already accused of a different crime and can already spend many more years in here. Damn. That Likewise, is... here inside the module are the courtrooms where the accused can talk to their lawyers. Wow. All of that is respected here and their new sentences are read to them all remotely. This is very impressive. So here they have the cameras for video calls. Here they sit those already sentenced. Here they listen. Here they can dialogue. Here they can talk. Here they can speak everything remotely. Oh, they... they damn. So I repeat... Yeah, I want to do that get mail or anything. Outside. No, no, this is truly amazing. You said it's amazing. Yeah, to you, but to them, that's... Damn, bro. How can you live like that? We ain't got another no choice. They are taking us to another area. And notice this detail. Yeah, they don't take Every no time chances. You change area, the floor is made of stones on purpose to make noise in case someone escapes. Mm, how would you even escape? Make every little step more than evident. Let's go up to one of the watchtowers. Somebody said you can't jump a judge there. From up here, no, we can, can see some of the modules and we can appreciate the security rings. Damn. The highest walls are nine meters of concrete Ooh. followed by three meters of electrified fencing. Oh, yeah, you're not getting out, bro. It's over. He said electrified. I was allowed he to even... go up to the catwalk area, which is where security bodies are strategically placed to be able to see from above into the cells. And they here got little windows. we can windows. observe some of the methods that the prisoners use to sleep, as you will see in their welcome kit, and so we could call them. Dang. They are given a Just... sheet, they are given their uniform, and they are given a towel. You can see that some choose to cover themselves with the sheet and put the t-shirts over their eyes to keep the light out so they can sleep, and still others choose to lie on their towels. That yeah. is some... Yeah, bro. Yeah, I mean, somebody I, said they locked up, locked up. Nah. Yeah, bro. This is this is the gulags. This is what being sent to the gulags would probably be like. Not I mean, not Area Fifty One. Somebody, you idiot. I mean, at the the end of your day starter pack. Yes, yes, pretty much it. I'm now witnessing a cell extraction. This is an activity that is done once a day so that the prisoners can exercise. What is done is say, that the do that. are taken out of the cell in an orderly fashion, five by five or sometimes ten by ten. They are placed in a row and handcuffs are placed on their wrists and ankles. Sometimes they are also joined together. They are then escorted to a designated area of the module where they will be surrounded by guards so that they can move around without the possibility of rebellion. Bro, look how many guards. Similarly, is. here we can see that most, if not all, of the guards choose to cover their faces for their own safety and uh... that of their families because in many cases they themselves live in neighborhoods that have been previously ruled by gang members. So they do uh... not want to have to pay negative consequences for the work they are doing here or for their country they have to yeah that's because if somebody knows somebody wait a minute i know you well i know somebody that's related to you yeah yep like get them out of here we need this to happen because i know where your family lays that's yep yep Jeez. Woo. Their loved ones. Oh, and see from inside the cell, they put the handcuffs on their wrists first, of course, so that no one can push the door open once it is opened. And look, right now we are seeing how they are being escorted one prisoner at a time. Look how the chain is attached to their legs. Yeah, they, All they, this they with not the going nowhere. Of minimizing risks. Talking with a guard, I was just given a piece of information that shocked me. 
and that is that this group alone, which is behind my back, is very possibly directly or indirectly responsible for more than 200 homicides. What a blood-curdling piece of information once they are formed and the perimeter is protected by guards, their Damn. handcuffs are removed so that they can move freely and thus exercise. It is quite frightening to be just a few meters away from murderous yeah, kidnappers it is. without yeah. any kind of protection. Luckily, there are literally dozens of guards surrounding me. But I won't deny it, this is a scary experience. Yeah, Looking I bet it is. Yeah, uh, yeah. Somebody uh, said yeah. the, the real hell in the cell. <laughs> Dog, that's that minute. Like, that'll make you go crazy, bro. Like, the real hell in the cell. The facts, bro. <laughs> no way out. <laughs> the At <paper> all. <laughs> It's an elimination chamber where you actually get eliminated <laughs> in the chamber before you come out. Oh my, Slim Jim presents WWE Hell in the Jail. <laughs> that should be the name of the video. Oh Facts. my God. <laughs> Some of them have on their chests and backs. We can see what gangs they used to belong to. Most allude to Mara Salvatrucha uh -oh. or 18, which mm. are gangs, historically enemies. It is interesting to see they the put strategy them in the same? of putting them together in the same cell to represent that the gang no longer cares about you. Mm. That has been left in the past and this ideology has changed this system of separating the gangs by cells so they don't fight. Yeah. Here they are practically being forced to reach a peace agreement. Yeah. They gave me a reading of profiles that list crimes they have committed and it is very difficult to listen to them and it makes your skin crawl. Rape, aggravated homicides, kidnappings, truly inhumane acts. I got to read profiles whose sentences listed 270 years and this, if not more crimes, are added to the years they have left to live. And if seeing all these images, it is easy to suddenly be moved, to touch your heart, to say, wow, what harsh mistreatment inside the prison. But when you learn of the inhumane atrocities they have committed, it makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Leave them alone, bro. Thanks. Next, we will enter an isolation cell, which is where the prisoners are sent when they commit an infraction. They are always locked with a padlock and basically consist of this space in which they have a cement oh. slab, they have a tub of water with a bucket, they have an access to drainage, and they have a bathroom. Boy, that water Hell don't... no, nah, man. Like, bro, that how do we know that the last inmate wasn't just Damn. redacting it up in here? Redacting it up. <laughs> like I'm saying, like, Damn. how are you supposed to know that? Well, I mean, well, once again, it, it all comes, don't do the crime if you ain't ready for the time, man. Simple as that. And it's simple. The, the people that got hurt and killed, they not here no more. Bro, somebody said Bane was born there. Yeah, he was. He was born in the darkness, molded by it. Somebody said, just let me go to the gulags. <laughs> this is the gulags. It's worse. The only light that you have is a hole in the oh, ceiling. And depending God. on the severity of your infraction, the number of hours you have to spend here will be defined. Ooh. I can tell you that it is a very claustrophobic sensation, very dark and echo accompanied by a silence that weakens anyone. A very serious punishment. Yeah, that I mind, do not want bro. to That's imagine myself in a situation like this in which I would be locked up in this cell. The isolation cells have this hatch through which food is passed and likewise with this small window through which you can supervise the person who is in there. You can close the door and check. Right now we have the camera light on. That's dark. Turn it off, it's completely dark, right? Ooh. This is a traumatizing experience. Oh, yeah. I don't think y'all understand like the sensory deprivation that causes just being in an all dark room for yeah. hours. With you don't a, know echoes. You don't know what time it is. Just like being in an all white room that yeah. can, that fucks up your 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 sensory de uh, like the senses and stuff. Like your brain will start to hallucinate. You'll start going crazy because you're not around nobody. You don't hear nothing. You just in darkness. Being molded by it. <laughs> For real. Like, look how pitch black it is. The video not even over.
Bro, hit nah, dog. If we talk about the food, they serve three courses of food. What is I that asked stop? to taste the breakfast, that's what I'm going to get. Oh, now we can see nothing. that it consists of rice with beans, cream, and two tortillas. Daddy! What kind of beans? Just, just juice. Oh, what is cream? Cream <laughs> Someone said the goop scoop. <laughs> So Ray for TK. That's definitely some goop scoop. Yeah, bro. That's what it Hell bro. No, bro. Yeah, just take me to the king, bro. Yeah. Well, well honestly, I don't know if I'm in there. I don't think I'm going to the king. <laughs> I don't think I'm going right. somewhere. You probably going somewhere else. It's not to the king. That's <laughs> Oh, you already there. Breakfast and dinner is yeah. usually the same. It is usually the same dish. And at lunchtime, what? maybe they can serve some pasta. Maybe they can serve a rice with a different preparation. But they never really eat chicken or meat. That doesn't exist here. Wow. That doesn't exist here. What do we get, Frijolito? We get cream. Each plate of food is put on the scale and has to weigh one pound. Wow. There is no distinction of any kind of rank here. Everyone, absolutely everyone eats the same. Today you are probably wondering about the people who are here working, packing the food. They are also people serving time in prison. Mm -hmm. Yes, but they are what we might call low-risk criminals. Basically, mm. all of them are in another prison, not in this one, because I repeat that this one is only for terrorists. Oh. All these people are under supervision and they are brought in to work from other prisons to do some of their community service. As I was Guess telling what? you- They don't have to pay nobody else to do it. Yep. It saves them money. We can get other less risk prisoners that want to get off earlier. Good behavior. And they'll do that. I'll serve up some goop scoop to get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> Somebody said nuke it, dog. That's the, that's the problem. The modules, and this also applies to meal times. This nigga's passing out the goop scoop. You can see that the scoop. plates and trays are left just outside the bars, and they are the ones who take them. Dropping the juice. Out. The goop scoop juice. <laughs> I wondered how they managed to prevent abuses and the food from being stolen so that someone is left without food. They tell me that all this is controlled from above. There is supervision and they make sure that everyone is eating. And in the same way, we can see that there are custodians here watching that the food is distributed fairly once they finish their food. It is their job to rinse the dishes, to leave them relatively clean. Oh. They leave them there to be picked up and then they can use that water to clean their mouths, to clean their bodies. We are going to talk now with a Wait, prisoner F who has been involved in gangs. Did I hear that wrong? Like, yeah. Wait, I, yeah. I heard that wrong, right? Like, so they don't. Nah, yeah, no, yeah, nah, they. Wait, so they wash the dishes. They use the same water that they yeah. wash the bowls and stuff off of that. All the inmates in that yeah. specific cell. And then yeah. now you can use that to wash your face and brush your teeth with. Yeah, the goop scoop special. Keeps giving, yeah, bro. Yeah, <laughs> once again, bro. Just, yeah. just don't look, man. Just don't, just don't do the, do the crime. Well, it depends. depends. Yeah, bro. It don't even matter, bro. Like, nah. <laughs> yeah, well, nah. if if these are terrorists, so this must be like the worst of the worst of the worst. But now like you, they, you making me more of a, you're turning me up now because now I'm becoming more crazy. What you mean? Because it's not no rehab. What do you mean? That's what prison's for. It's not, not this, not not the the Guantanamo Bay's of the world. Like no, bro. When like you we know you there, ain't gonna get out no more. Yeah, but, when but you, damn. When you go to these, that's it. That, but one of them, if one of them get loose, they going crazy. Well, they probably not getting loose. Look at this. How they gonna get loose? They Where? better hope not. That's wild, bro. Yeah, bro. This is this is basically essentially essentially hell on earth. Like you you've done so much bad. This is where you go. There's not you don't go to a regular prison where you know they give them recreation and yeah. TV time and niggas out here watching the Super Bowl and yeah, shit. Yeah, no, they don't do that shit here. Here is you was part of a gang. A this cartel. prison prison. Yeah, this is there's prison. Then there's prison prison. This is the gulags. This is what they say. When you die in war zone, welcome to the gulags. 
fights it to survive. <laughs> Except you don't get to respawn back in the war zone. This is it. That's sick. He, young. he has been here for a very long time and has a lot more to come. I was just saying. What gangs do you belong to? To the MS-13. Why are oh, you here? Yeah. For multiple offenses. MS-13. What that's the dude. Do? That's the dude that was like, uh, I don't know how many from the intro. Yeah, MS-13. What, what are we talking about? But he said he's been there since he was like young. Like I said, what are we talking about? <laughs> he's serving that th thousand years. Like what? Homicides, deprivation of liberty, kidnapping, etc. How many people did you kill? I don't remember. So many were. We have committed different crimes at different times. How long have you been in prison? I entered at the age of 21 and I am 47 years old. <laughs> How much time do you I have left? When God permits, I will go out. Don't when get God into permits. criminal groups like gangs, gangs, organized crime. Nothing that is crimes or sins on this earth. Here we go. He's trying because to the tell consequences you. are serious, even if they offer you heaven or earth. That is a lie of the devil. Mm. It is very sad to hear these stories and to oh, know that it spitting. is the case of many of those here See, who look committed like he, horrible he crimes when they were just children. I mean, oh, he was probably, 21, bro. Like that would probably change you if this is all you've known. This is it. Damn, bro. This is it. It's one of those things where it's like, I mean. He looked older than 47, though, but. Their environment got them involved in gangs. The society they grew up in made them believe that this was the right path. Mm -hmm. Yes, True. it's very hard. It's very sad. And I mean, whatever time you're watching me, you may think that the gang is your only escape. There's always another way. And you that's don't another have spin to look on it. for the easy way out. Yeah. That's another spin on it because people grow up into that. Yeah, for sure. Some are forced. I leave this prison in mm -hmm. El Salvador very shocked and with a strange feeling of relief. I can tell you that yeah, I have visited free many now. prisons and have documented several for the channel. It gives a horrible feeling of helplessness when you visit prisons where criminals who have done horrible things live like kings. To be mm. able to appreciate these conditions and these measures in a maximum security prison gives a certain feeling of empowerment to a simple citizen like me. What feeling do you leave with? I'll read them down here in the comments. Many thanks to the people in the industry for opening the doors for me to be able to document this and share it with you. See you as always, you know, in a few days with a new video. This thing said a few days. Man, going to a this is a prison hop, huh? Yeah. Uh, this that was wild, bro. Yeah, it, bro. That was it, very. It's, it's just one of those things where you know you you know it, it sucks. You know to Someone be in that situation Naruto, right? but but at the end of the day you know they they did some things and now they're paying for those crimes and granted you know like you were saying earlier sometimes people didn't have a choice they grew up in it that's all they do so i get that but at the same time there are consequences to the decisions you make whether you were forced into it or not there are going to be consequences and the innocent lives that were hurt because of these individuals too yeah. You know what I'm saying? They deserve justice as well. And you know what I'm saying? It, it just it's it's all messed up all around, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. It, no one really wins. Nobody, because even yeah. The, the, ah, that's just tough, man. Cause yeah. a lot of people lose loved ones, like you said, and then a lot of times people are actually they grow up believing that this is the way. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? No, no pun intended to Mandalorian, but um yeah, it's it's just a it's just a Tough situation, bro. It's, prayers out to everybody. That's just, mm -hmm. ah, this is yeah, that's tough one. to even speak on. But if y'all enjoyed the video, you already know what to do. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on these videos? Uh, on this one, do y'all want to check out some more from the homie? So, uh, let us know. Run the likes, continue to spray love, be love, learn from other people's mistakes, man, as much as possible to not end up in those same situation. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace out. Already. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen, I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me.